In this video, we're going to learn about chromosome crossover, which is a part of genetic algorithms. If you want to learn more, you can watch my longer videos on evolutionary algorithms, multi-objective problems, and the hypervolume indicator. Here, we will aim to use our selected solutions, which we can refer to as the parent population, to produce new solutions, which we can refer to as the offspring population. One method of variation is called chromosome crossover. Here you can see the same chromosome from before, but this time I've placed a red line in the middle, indicating two different halves, which I have color coded with blue and green. We'll now use this red line, or the crossover point, to mix two parent solutions to produce a single offspring solution. Let's use the following scheme. We're going to pick the parent with the highest fitness score. From it, we will take the blue part of the chromosome. We'll then pick the solution with the highest fitness score from the two remaining parents. And from it, we will take the green part of the chromosome. We'll stick these two halves together to form our new offspring solution. And then start the process again, but this time with the parent with the next highest fitness score. Let's see what happens. Here we can see parent B and parent C have produced offspring D. I've color coded the parts of the stick figures to indicate what has been passed on to the offspring and which parent it's come from. Next, we can see parent C and parent B have produced offspring E. You may notice the same parents have been selected for the crossover, but in a different order, which has changed which parts have been passed on to the offspring. Now for the last offspring. We can see parent B and parent A have been selected for the crossover. And now it's time for the quick activity. If you want to take part, please just use a pen and paper to sketch out what you think offspring solution F will look like. Your 15 seconds start now. And there we have it. I hope your offspring F looked similar. If not, you can see with the color coding how we arrived at the answer. If you want to learn more, you can watch my longer videos on evolutionary algorithms, multi-objective problems, and the hypervolume indicator.